Hi guys and welcome. Uh, I do have a tutorial for you guys and this time I'll be going over the PS2 on how to install Freemic Boot. Uh, actually the hard way. Uh, the reason being uh, there are a lot more easier ways out there to do this but guys most of you don't have the means uh, of uh, carrying out the easier way of doing it. Uh, like you know you could use a swap magic disc. Uh, uh, Action Replay Max disc, uh, older Code Breaker disc, uh, and things of that nature. You know, anything that will uh, allow you to transfer save files from a memory card to uh, a flash drive on your PS2. So, if you don't have none of those things, guys, you're pretty much stuck doing it this way. I was. Uh, it is a little bit of a pain, but hey, you know, it pays off in the end. Uh, the easiest, absolute easiest way, guys, is if you know anybody who's got Freemit Boot already, and shoot, about five minutes, they, they can have it installed on your memory card, no problem. Uh, if I had a P.O. Box uh, here in town, uh, I would be gladly to accept y'all's, uh, you guys' memory cards, and I'd do it for free, no big deal, uh, but unfortunately I don't, so stuck doing it this way. Um, but I'm going to go over this thing as thoroughly as I can, guys. Uh, I did make a uh, tutorial here a while back. And uh, it was going over the, uh, this pretty much the same thing, but it was going over using the Action Replay disc. And uh, most of you, like I said, don't have that disc. So pretty much, I, I really wanted to redo this tutorial. And here it is right here. A couple of, couple of you asked me, to actually do this tutorial so uh, this kind of pushed me to go ahead and do it so here it is and I hope y'all guys can keep up like I said I'm, I'm gonna try to get through it as quickly as I can but as, as thoroughly as I can guys really as thoroughly, thoroughly as I can and uh, I hope you guys it really helps you guys out so I have to be taking this bad boy here apart again I hate to do that but uh, yeah I hate to do it, but it's got to be done. I want to do it for you guys. How about that? So uh, let's get started with this, guys, and uh, shoot, let's go, man. Let's let's get going with this. Okay, guys. So to start off with, I'm just going to quickly go over with you on what I got on my memory card here. Uh, now, most of you who don't have Freemic Boot installed, this is basically what your PS2 menu looks like already. So I'm just going to go into the browser here. Go into my PS2 memory card. And uh, this is what I got. Uh, the only file that I have is a Your System Configuration file. That's absolutely it. No Freemic Boot whatsoever. Um, so that's about it. Uh, so I'm gonna head on over to the computer. If y'all guys are ready, uh, we, we gotta make uh, two discs uh, to help us to uh, install this so-called exploit onto our memory card, which is free McBoot. So let's go over to the computer guys and we'll just go ahead and get started with this. How about that? All right guys, so uh, here we are. We're at the uh, computer portion of our tutorial here. And the first thing, of course, we're gonna do is uh, download all of our necessary files. And uh, you can thank me later for this because I've got everything archived up into one file on a media fire site here. And uh, in order to get all these files, guys, uh, I got them from a, a site called SKS Apps, which has been down for quite a while now. And I actually had to go to a site called archive.org uh, to actually go back to a certain date to pull this certain site up and download these files. So I went back, I got everything we needed, uh, uploaded them to Media Fire site, and here they are. So let's go ahead and we'll download this and save it to the desktop. So there, there are plenty of uh, tutorials out there, guys, that go over this right here. But uh, there's this uh, one guy called Hodry. Uh He just recently come out with another uh, exploit like this right here. The same thing I'm pretty much going over now. But he uses a certain file within a game 
uh, to actually carry out this exploit, which, guys, not all games have that certain uh, file in it, which is called driving.l. Uh, he found it in a 007 game, I believe it was, and uh, every game that I have does not contain that file. Um, and he means well, he's trying to help everybody out, he's really good, he's, he's, he's all PS2, uh, he's really good at what he does. Um, but still, that last video he put out still would not help me out and probably wouldn't help a lot more people out. This way right here, guys, is the absolute best way to do it. It is the hardest way, but it will get the job done. Trust me, okay? So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, and by the way, his, uh, um, his tutorials will be in the description. If you want to check him out, go ahead if you want to. He's a great guy. We'll answer all your questions and all that good stuff. So, yeah, check him out. And meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and extract all of our files here. And what we have in here... Yikes, I don't want to do that. Okay. So... Uh, I'm not going to go over all these files right this second. As I as I go along through the tutorial, I'll explain these files. Uh, but right now, guys, you need to install setup uh, the ImageBird setup extension here. You need to install ImageBird in Image Burn, in other words. Uh, install ISO Buster here and uh, extract hex edit and install that. Okay. Uh, the Apache 1.1 is a self-run program. It don't require any install, so you're good with that, okay? All right, so once you have all that stuff, um, pretty much what you want to do is create an ISO of your game. Uh, if you guys don't know how to make an ISO, you can actually create an ISO from Image Burn. Uh, I actually got Image Burn right here. And if you pull it up, uh, you got this option right here create image file from disk simply put your uh, PlayStation 2 disk in there and create an image file simple as that Okay, I've already got mine here And there's a reason why I picked this uh, certain game out guys. I got plenty of games over here um, For rain for one reason uh, it just worked in my favor this way uh, this game. I don't play that much Okay, so I don't I don't risk uh, Scratching the game up when I go to swapping out disc and all that stuff second of all the LBA Value is really high and I'll get in I'll get into that really really quick um, Let me go ahead and open up ISO buster here We'll open up our image file which is a uh, Ace Combat there and we'll click on this right here okay these are all of our files on our, on our uh, game here the one that we're concentrating on is this right here this tile DB right here uh, now what you want to look at is this LBA value which is uh, on this disc on this particular game is 1,733,982 now the higher this number is the easier it will be on the disk swapping guys okay uh, simply because uh, the, the higher the number is on our LBA right here the further from the center of the disk our boot file is uh, it will start reading from the center of the disk our copy protection file and then we'll move out to this boot file which is 1 million which is uh, a lot further than the games I've seen, which is like 70,000. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the further, well, the, the higher the number, the higher the number, the LBA number here is, the further out that that lens has to go out from the center of the disc, which gives you more time to swap the disc out. Does that make sense? So go through your PS2 games, find the highest LBA value in your game and use that game guys and plus two don't use your best game because you risk on uh, Scratching it up because of the disc swapping and all that stuff So like I said luckily this game is really high and I don't play it at all. So that, that's that <clears throat> So 
What I want to do here is click on this um, uh, S SLUS 20152 file here, and I'm going to extract it to the desktop. It should show up here. There it is right there. Okay. So now I'm going to create a, a folder, guys, called games. Okay. And I already got a game folder out here. Where's it at? Anyway. Oh, there it is over here. Anyway. Uh. I don't want to call it games. I, I actually want to call it game. Let's call it game. Okay, there we go. That's better. Open it up and drag this uh, file into there. Now you want to make a copy because this is what we're going to use uh, to burn our disk. So we're making two disks. We're making a cog swap disk and also a U launch uh, elf dot. Uh, U launch disk. So what we want to do is just go to copy and paste it here okay just as simple as that so let's open up our ps2 exploit files folder here and uh, you already got image burn set up ISO buster and hex edit installed on your computer what we need now is the cog swap dot R so what we need to do we need to extract this file here open it up and what it is is a cogswap.elf. So we, we're going to simply just drag it and drop it into our game folder right there. All right. And we can delete this here. We don't need it anymore. Um, the other file that we're going to need is located in the ulaunch.elf.zip uh, file here. We're going to extract it. Open it up. And we have an... Uh, Uncompressed boot.l file. We're just simply going to drag and drop it down here also. Okay. All right. So we're done with this folder for right now. All right. So these are the files that we have. Um, like I said, we're making two uh, DVDs. Okay. Uh, the first DVD that we that we will be using in our exploit is a cog swap. So let's just go ahead and uh, we'll rename this uh, file here in front of it. We'll call it uh, cog swap. And of course, uh, spacebar there, and uh, we'll get rid of copy here. We don't need that. Alright, so that's what we're left with there. And as for uh, this next file here, this is our next uh, DVD here, which we're going to use, which is the ULAUNCH ELF. So we're going to rename and name it LAUNCH. Okay. Alright, so pretty much what we're going to do, guys, we're going to take the files within these two files, or like say this one file here we're going to take the files and we're going to install or copy these files into our game files here we we'll, at the same time we'll be replacing files within this file so when the when the ps2 uh boots our regular ps well tries to boot our uh, regular ps2 game up we'll swap it out with this and then it will actually boot this file here up it actually think that it's booting that actual game up but it's actually booting an infect an infected file up if that makes sense uh, and the same way and the same as this one here uh, it's called it's pretty much it's called infecting is what we're doing using hex edit and it's pretty much what uh, viruses are you know uh they're in, in, in fact, infectious programs okay and that's pretty much what we're doing here uh we're infecting this file here thinking it's booting a game but it's actually running absolutely something else so that's that all right so let's get down to the nitty gritty and let's let's create our uh infected file here uh, what we're going to do we're going to open up our hex edit program All 
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, like I said before, the first file that we're going to use, or first uh, DVD that we're going to use is a cog swap, so we're going to go with that one first. Uh, so we need to open up our cogswap.elf file, okay? So we're going to go over here to folder. It's already pulled up. It's in the game here. We're going we're gonna to open up our cogswap.elf. Now here are the hex values within that file there. What we're going to do is going to scroll all the way down, guys, to the very end, okay? Now this is very important, okay? What you want to do, this last number, this OXE320, okay? You need to actually write that number down, guys. And not only write this number down, but make sure that you write down that these hex values go all the way across. Some may end right here, okay? Some may do that. This one goes all the way across. So we could easily say E320 all the way, okay? What you wanna do is kinda of like highlight just start the high, highlighting process here like like I did. Hit Shift, Control, and Home. And that will highlight everything, guys, uh, all the way to the top, as you can see. I'll show you. As you can see, everything is highlighted. What you want to do is right-click, go to uh, Kapieren, which is German for copy. Now, I want, I want to remind you that everything in this program is German, so uh, you need to have a little bit of knowledge of, uh, of, of the German language. Just a few words. Kapirin is copy. So you want to copy these files here, all right? Now, what we want to do is go, and we want to open up our CogSwap SLUS20152. That, that is actually our game, guys, right here, okay? So we're going to infect this game right here with these files so we're going to open it up right here okay now we got to go down to that e320 all right go up here to suchin go to gesu which means go to in german and then type in uh e320 okay and hit OK. That will bring us down to that line, which is right here. Now remember that the hex values went all the way across, so we're going to start to highlight right there and go to Shift, Control, Home. And that will highlight from E320 up to the first, first files. Okay? And then you want to right click and go to Eifen, which means a paste in German. Okay? I'm going to paste it and then go up here and hit save and that's it that's it of that file this file is now infected so now we're going to go over to our next file which is the boot.elf which is the ulaunch and we're going to open it up right here and we're going to scroll all the way down now this this is a little more trickier uh Remember this number, as I said, write this number down, this DF6F0. And remember, this hex, hex values do not go all the way, all the way across. They stop four hex values over from the end, okay? Remember that, guys, okay? So start your highlight right there. Shift, Control, Home to highlight everything. And then go to Kapieren, which means copy in German. Okay. Now we want to open up our uh, launch SLUS20152. This is our other game file here. We're going to infect it with this ulaunch elf uh, files here. So we're going to open it up. Okay. Now we're simply going to go to Suchin, go to Gehesu, and uh, we're going to type in DF6F0. Okay, make sure you get this right guys, because uh, if you don't, yeah, it won't work. 
So make sure you have that right. Okay, and another thing, like I said, these hex values did not go all the way to the end. It was like the fourth hex value to the end here. So we're gonna start our values right here. The fourth one from the end. We're gonna hit Shift, Control, Home. Right click and hyphen right here. That means paste in German. So we wanna paste it and then we want to save. All right, so now we have our game here infected with this ulaunch L file here, okay? So that, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, now what we need to do, this is where our Apache program comes in handy. So we're gonna open up our Apache. And where's our file at? Okay. Yikes, I don't want to open it up all the way. Okay, let's extract Apache right here. We'll just drag and drop it out here. It won't it won't hurt nothing. Uh, we'll go ahead. It's a self-run program. Here's our Apache right here, guys. Uh, what we're gonna do simply is we're gonna open up this ISO right here. We're not gonna open up nothing here. We're gonna open up this ISO right here, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to File, go to uh, Open ISO, and find our ISO. Okay, so this is our game without any kind of infection or whatever, guys, okay? So the first disc that we're gonna be using is the cock swap, so this is what we're gonna work with. So. Since we infected our SLUS 20152 file, so that's the one we're gonna update. So we wanna simply highlight that file here, go to ISO tools, go to update selected file. Okay, now we're simply gonna uh, move on over and find this file here through this directory. Um, it is in game, so we're gonna scroll down right here and it won't show up guys what you have to do is uh hit star shift star just like that right there and hit open and that will bring up everything in that folder without doing that nothing will pop up okay so what we need to do since we're dealing with the uh cog swap program we want to use this file right here, guys, the Cogswap SLUS 20152, okay? All right, so we want to open and select the file replace. So all these files within the file here has been replaced in this ISO here, okay? So that's good. We're good to go, guys, on that part, okay? Cogswap. Now you can simply go to uh, image burn now this is when you're gonna put in your uh, blank DVD minus R disk. And what you wanna do is write image file to disk, okay? And simply, uh, well, it, it'll find the source automatically. Uh, what you wanna do is make sure that the write speed is at two, okay? And then simply come over here and hit write, and that is it, okay? That will be your cog swap disk and make sure you label it, okay? That's it of that, plain and simple. I've already got mine burnt, no need to show y'all any more than that. That's, that's pretty self-explanatory. So, now how do we do the uh, launch SLUS 20252? Well, we're gonna open up our Apache once more. We're going to find this ISO again going to be on the desktop here it is now remember this did we already replaced this with the infected cog swap uh, file right here what we're going to simply do we're going to highlight it once more and now we're, we're going to infect it with this launch SLUS 20152 so it's gonna replace all the files that we, that we had copied into this file. So we're gonna to go to ISO tools, update selected file, and we're gonna to go to our games folder. 
and then we're going to hit shift and eight to bring up the star and hit open and now we're going to select our launch slus 20152 uh oh right there it hit open and now it has now uh replaced our cog swap for our uh for our launch hit hit okay and now this is our cog swap uh iso now so what what you would do simply just open up iso burn and iso burn image burn my bad uh right image file to disk and make sure it, the right speed is at two times and just simply just uh hit hit burn and make sure you label it okay <clears throat> so uh that's pretty much uh let's see if there's anything else i need to add yes there is okay one last thing guys take your flash drive load it up into the computer here uh first off uh, go to your flash drive. I got my name PS2 exploit. B. Okay. Go down here to format and make sure it's FAT32 and hit start. And just go ahead and format it to a FAT32. And we're good there. Okay. Alright, open it up. And wh what you're going to do, this newbie package right here, you'll want to extract the files. Open it up. Highlight everything, cut, and paste everything onto that flash drive. Just like that right there. And you're all done. You're all set. You're ready to go, guys. Uh, we're ready to go over to the PS2 now and uh, tear it apart and have a little bit of fun. <laughs> but, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, so, join me over there to the uh, PS2. And I'll show you the uh, physical part of the tutorial. Cool, man. Let's go. All right, guys. So uh, we're basically down to the uh, physical part of the tutorial, uh, which is actually taking the PS2 apart, uh, which is not really that bad, guys. It really isn't. The hardest part in this entire uh, tutorial is the disc swapping. So uh, let's just get right down to uh, getting this thing opened up. Uh, first thing I do is eject the tray. Just like that what I do then I power it off that way the tray don't uh, retract uh, what you have here you, you see this uh, uh, PlayStation logo in the front here this whole plastic piece will pop off so if you if you're gentle with it guys don't break it just be gentle with it and, and pull it off just like that mine's a little broken anyway because the first time that I uh, tried this uh, I didn't really understand how it come off so yeah mine was a little broken it would be a little tougher to, for you guys to get it off but uh just be gentle with it all right and set it to the side and now what i do i'll, I'll turn it back on so i can uh close the tray up just like that right there and i'll turn it back off and what i'll do is i'll unplug it all right and we're gonna flip this bad boy over here all right just like that Okay, so now what we got, guys, uh, we have a total of eight of these right here, these little squares on the bottom here. Uh, up under these little squares, these will pop out, and there are screws up under these. Um, now, we're not going to take all of these out, uh, just these two right here, these two here. Leave these two alone, guys. You don't have to mess with these, okay? And there are two right down here that you need to take out. So I'm going to stop uh, the video right here. I'm going to go ahead and tape the screws out, and I'll see y'all guys in, in a second. Okay, guys. Uh, now I've taken my screws out here. The ones that I've taken out is this one here, this one, this one, this one, and there's two over here on the, on the very end. Uh, these two right here I left alone. Uh, it has something to do with, the, uh, I guess, the board on the inside. You don't have to worry about those at all. Uh, so be aware too guys that uh, there is a warranty sticker here uh, 
So if it is broken, it voids warranty, but I, I don't think there's any kind of warranties on these right now anyway, because they're just older. But uh, I wouldn't worry about that. Um, and two, keep in mind also that where you plug your controllers in up at, uh, these actually stick out a little further than the cover. So what you're gonna have to do is uh, you pull it from the back just a little bit and then you wanna pull forward, just kinda ease it out. And keep in mind also guys that there is a ribbon. There's a power ribbon right here, okay? When you open this thing up for the first time, this ribbon right here will be taped to your disk drive uh, top right here, okay? So just be aware of that when you're opening it up. Don't just open it up and flop it over because it will pull this ribbon out, guys. You don't want that to happen because you can't uh, turn, turn on and off power on your PS2, okay? It's a real pain to get back in there, okay? So as you open it up, just be careful. Uh, just untape it as you as you pull in the top off, okay? So that's that. All right, uh, now we gotta take the top off to our hard drive here. Now there's a total of four screws. One here, 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 and here. And so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll take these out real quick. And make sure you put those in a, in a nice uh, safe place also. These are real tiny guys, so be careful. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so we're going to slowly lift up on this thing here. Alright. Now, as you can see, there uh, there's our drive there. Uh, there's this white piece of plastic here, guys. It is actually a magnet. Uh, put your finger right here on the back side and push push all the way over that way and then just kind of push up on it because we're going to need this piece right here, okay? And you can put the top to, top to the side. As you see, it, it's, it's a magnet, actually. It's really what it does. It holds down your game, keep it from free spinning and keeps it from uh, flying off or whatever like that when it, when it spools up real, real fast, all right? So you're definitely gonna need that during, during this. And uh, the, the game that I got picked out, as you can see guys, is uh, uh, Ace Combat. And I've already went over on why I picked that. And uh, here are my here are my disc right here, guys. Uh, I've got my, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Hold on. Okay. This, this disc right here is my cog swap disc that I burned. And this one here, Is none other than my uh, launch, you launch PS2 disc that I burn. All right. Okay, so uh, we're all ready, guys. And uh, let me put these back in the case for a second here. Now you want to uh, hook your PS2 up to your TV. And uh, how you would do the swap, guys? You simply just uh, what I do. Uh, I'll have that disc laying somewhere. Uh, really close because you want to do this really quickly you want to pull this thing up swap that disc out put the disc put the other disc back in and pop it in there you know, you know what i mean it's it's going to take some practice uh but like i said uh you want to use a disc uh that a game that you don't play that much or you don't care that much about because uh you can scratch it up this way uh luckily uh I have a pretty clean disc. This is the one I used last time for my first exploit, and it's looking pretty good. I, I didn't do too too bad, uh, too bad of a job on it. So that's that. Okay, so let's get down to business, guys, and uh, I'll be back in a second once we get all this stuff hooked up. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm just going to uh, give you a quick rundown of what this uh, disc swapping is all about and what to expect. Okay. Uh, well, the first thing uh, you need to do. Uh, is to make sure you plug your uh, controller up to your PS2. Alright? Not only that, you need uh, to go ahead and plug your memory card up. 
the one you're going to use for your uh, exploit. And also your flash drive formatted to FAT32 with your newbie package on it that which contains all the files uh, necessary to create the exploit. We're going to plug it up. Okay. The second thing is, guys, uh, have your disk in close proximity to your uh, drive here because you're going to be doing some swapping out and you got to be really quick at it. And two, I've got a shirt under my disc. That way when I grab my disc, guys, I'm not grabbing it from the table and risk scratching my disc up. I, you know, I just quickly grab it and don't have to worry about scratching the disc. That's that, okay? Uh, so the first disc that we're going to start off with is the original PlayStation 2 disc here. And, uh, and again, the disc that I'd be using... Uh, the game that I picked out was the uh, Ace Combat 4. And I, I told you the reason why already on the computer. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know here in a second why again. Um, Alright, so one, once you have your disc in like this right here, you want to power, the, uh, pow, power your PlayStation 2 up. This disc will start spooling up, alright? It will spool up really quickly. Uh, that the reason why is is because it's reading the most inner part of the disc. That's where your copy protection part of the disc is at. Okay, and then it will all of a sudden slow way down. That's because the laser will move to the outer part of the disc. Uh, I guess it's your BIOS file that's way out there towards the end because your PlayStation logo will show up on your TV here. All right. And then it will spool back up really quickly. That's because it's reading the copy protection once more. And then right after that, guys, right after that is where it moves out to, uh, I guess, about middle ways of your disk, the laser wheel. And that's your boot file. That's a boot uh, part uh, of, of your disk. Um, now, the reason why I picked this disk in particular is because of the LBA a value which is really high it's like 1 million and what that means is it just gives you a greater distance from your copyright not copyright but your copy protection part of your disk out to the boot file so the higher that number is the further out that lens has to go out you know it just gives you more time to uh, uh, to swap the disk out you see what I'm saying so that's the reason for that so let's just get right into this guys and we'll shoot let's get some uh free mac boot uh installed on our uh memory card here so uh, i got the disc in here but uh yeah uh i forgot to mention though uh once it does slow down for the second time you actually want to replace that disc guys with your cog swap disc okay all right so once you got it in there then it will spool up really quickly. Once it spools up, guys, you want to take it back out, replace it with your original PlayStation 2 disc, and if you're lucky, this disc right here will stop, and uh, you, what will show up on your TV is a cog swap screen. And once that happens, guys, you're in the clear. You, you've, uh, you've successfully... Uh, uh, got through the hardest part of the tutorial. I'm telling you, congratulations. A uh, round of applause on that. Uh, so once that happens, guys, you can actually get your uh, your uh, U launch Elf disc here, and you'll just simply just put it in. Uh, hit your X button on your remote on your controller. And it should boot right into your launch elf, and that is a program, guys. You can go into your uh, uh, flash drive here and uh, boot Freemic boot up, and you can install it. And I'm finna go over that with you right now, so let's let's do this. So I got my disc in there. Make sure that's on really good here, and uh, I got the PS2 on actually right now. But I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Now the disc is going to start spooling up. It's going to read the copy, copy protection part of the disc. 
And then once it slows down, that's when it's reading the uh, the BIOS or whatever. Okay, so it slowed down. Now it's going to speed back up, read the copy of protection. Okay, it slowed back down. Replace it with your cog swap. It sped back up. Replace it once more with your uh, original disc. It stopped. And guess what, guys? Check the screen out. We have our uh, cog swap loader uh, on the TV here. Uh, we have successfully uh, gotten the hard part over with. Uh, yay! <laughs> I'm glad. That was actually the first time I did it too. That, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. So now we can uh, put our uh, U-Launch Elf disc in. All right. Make sure it's on good and. Uh, We'll hit the X button, and it will spool up. The, the disc on the TV will turn purple, okay? And now, what you want to do, hit the X button again. Alright guys, and there's our U-Launch Elf program. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to hit the O button right here and we're going to scroll down to mass and we're going to hit our O button. Alright, uh, now we're going to scroll down. Th this is actually our newbie package on our uh, USB flash drive. So we're going to scroll down to the freemicboot.elf and we're going to hit the O button. Okay, so now we're in a freemic boot uh, program here. Uh, I use, uh, there's a couple of options at the top, normal install, multi-version install, uh, launch FMCB, FMCB configurator, format MC, uninstall multi-version. Uh, I always go with the multi-version guys, uh, so just hit the X button on the multi-version install. Okay, and it, then it will ask you, this will install Freemic Boot multi-version on memory card 1. Continue. Uh, of course, hit the X button and it'll start writing all the files to your memory card. And just wait a minute and uh, you'll be all set. Now guys, once you get this Freemic boot onto your memory card, uh, if you have an extra memory card, I, I would strongly suggest, if you don't want to go back to this method here of swapping the disc out, if you're no good at it, and you just got lucky doing it, I would definitely make a backup. I definitely would do that. I've got two backups, um, but I'm getting better at this disc swapping, so I'm not really that concerned if it if these memory cards do go bad uh, just like right now I've done it the first time uh, so I feel pretty confident that I could do it again but now it says right there free boot installed successfully on memory card one hit OK alright and now what we're gonna do we're gonna turn it off turn the uh, PS2 back on Alright guys, and as you can see, we do have Freemic Boot version 1.8. Uh, we have U-Launch Elf, the ESR, which will boot, uh, it's a pro, uh, program that will boot your uh, backup games off, off of disk. You have an HD loader, if you have uh, the uh, PS2 uh, hard drive in your PS2, you use that. Simple media system, which will play movies and things of that nature. Cool. And uh, you can actually add emulators uh, using uh, Ulaunch Elf and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, you're all set and ready to go, guys. That's it. That's how you uh, install Freemic Boot pretty much the hard way. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't have the uh, proper disc uh, to do it the easy way, this is the way I had to do it. And uh, ever since then, I've been having some good time. So, uh I'm going to end the tutorial right now, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, and I, I really do hope this helped you guys out. Uh, 
And if you have any questions or comments or whatever like that, just leave them in the comment section below. And uh, just just let me know, guys. Uh, this is uh, Bobby signing off. And again, thanks for watching.